This is Daniel. He suffered a stroke. And to keep track of his rehabilitation, he walks behind his house in the forest, and he tries to walk to a more distant tree every single day. Now, this is not precisely a medical method to keep track of one's rehabilitation, correct? Daniel should rather visit his doctor. But that only happens once, maybe twice a year. And he's then asked to perform tests, several tests, like the finger tapping test you see up there. These tests are time consuming to perform. The results are subjective and not really precise. So it is because of patients like Daniel that we decided to develop digital tests that allow doctors to monitor and assess patients faster, to take decisions based on objective data, and to monitor minor improvements or variations in patients' condition. Our tests can be performed on a standard tablet, and they can also be performed by the patients at home, and they can then share the test results remotely with their doctors. We focus on Parkinson, multiple sclerosis, and stroke, because most of our tests can be and monitor all of these three conditions. Rehaptics is all about increasing healthcare quality and reducing healthcare costs. For example, by shortening the time of hospitalization and thereby saving insurances over 90% of their costs. We are a great team of three founders with relevant studies, PhDs, master degrees in neuroscience, neuroinformatics, IT management. Mary Christine is our clinical brain. Eric has over 15 years of professional experience in software engineering. I myself have been building companies for over 10 years with successful exit. We are running our second clinical study. Uh, this is being financed by the Swiss MS Society. And we're also running three pilots with major clinics back in Switzerland. We'll soon close a financing round, seed round 600K. 50% of the funds will be used to further develop the product and 50% for the go-to-market. Existing investors, new investors have already committed to this round. But there's something more important I want to share with you. Every patient, including Daniel, should have the chance to monitor their rehabilitation without having to count trees. I'm Alois. We are rehab ticks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Questions, please. Uh, yeah, what kind of results so far? I mean, um, revenue-wise, customer-wise, uh, you mentioned some hospitals, but uh, actually treated patients and, and how they feel about it and like it and, and en how engaged and positive are they and how does it work in practice? Well, the results in terms of revenues we're not selling yet. We're running pilots with the clinics, uh, with three major clinics in Switzerland. Next step is to that these clinics become our first paying customers. Uh, at the same time, we're receiving very valuable feedback from individual GPs and general practitioners, as well as from patients. How does it work? The patient can perform the tests at home, share the results with the doctor, and based on an alarm system, the doctor will always see whether his patient is performing outside of a certain benchmark. So if, it's a, if, he is, if the patient is at risk of relapsing, um, he can call the patient to visit him before the, the next scheduled um, appointment. That's one use case. Second one is with ambulant patients when the patient actually visits the doctor. And the third one is with stationary patients when patients are for a couple of weeks so, at so the hospital. I mean, in the experiences now, pilot phase, have, how have, uh, have the patients liked it or, or not? And has it worked you know, in, in, uh, in, in reality to you know, uh, actually bring patients faster to, to, to the doctor back and, uh, or vice versa, not bring the patient if not needed or so forth? I mean, what's, in reality, what's, what's a concrete kind of evidence of, of success? So to say. Yeah, sorry for having misunderstood your question. Um, so it's the, the feedback is that it's really motivating for them because they, they always know where they are in their path to recovery, especially in the case of stroke. Um, so the feedback in that terms is really empowering the patient. Yes, it's motivating the patient. Yeah. 
that's the feedback we have received. Um, I think you had quite aggressive numbers on the savings from the insurance and, and, and hospital side. Um, but um, have, have you really done actual studies on how this has been uh, worked with from the doctor's side? I mean, they, I assume they would like to see the patients anyway. Uh, the tests might help uh, somehow. But uh, how thoroughly based are those calculations on the savings? Brief, based on practice. Brief answer, please. Yeah. So first of all, they are still say, seeing the patients. Mm -hmm. um, so when they see the patients, it's not just a picture of that single day. They see the data over the last months because the patient has been doing performing the tests at home. In terms of numbers, on average, a stroke patient's MS and Parkinson patient costs his insurance 10,000 euros uh, per year. So if we can avoid rehospitalizations, we save that money. Excellent. Thank you so much. But uh, Thank you. we have to move on. Thank you. No problem. Thanks.